18 and a half inches. 260. Oh, dang. You're not far off. 3 2. Hey guys, Garrett Lee here, fisheries biologist at Pond King. I'm Jack Myrna, I'm a fisheries biologist at Pond King as well. We're out here today on a lake in North Texas doing an electroshock survey. We get a lot of questions about how the boat works and what occurs on an electroshock survey, so I figured I'd take you along the boat today and show you what goes on. up here at the front we have these two rays that spread out into the water they act as our positive current for the power that gets generated into the water our boat here acts as a ne negative to where it completes the circuit the power is provided by this generator right here and then it's controlled in this shock box this allows me to have all the settings and controls to safely sample your fish it uses what's called a pulse shock method where it actually gives short frequencies of electricity into the water, which stimulates the fish's muscles and causes what's called galvanotaxis, which will actually cause the fish to swim towards the boat until they reach a certain distance where it'll stun them and they'll float to the surface, where our net man, Jack, can scoop them up and then put them in our live well, where we then collect them and collect all the data including scales to estimate age and growth rates, is length and total weight. Before they're re released, healthy and unharmed back into your lake. During an electroshock survey, we also record other data such as habitat availability, aquatic vegetation, the clarity of your pond, as well as the water quality. So a common misconception about electroshocking is that it kills and injures fish, but it actually doesn't kill or injure them at all. When we shock up fish, we only get a small sample of the fish in your pond, so we can get a good number of population dynamics and the water quality, and so we can recommend how to manage your pond further. <laughs> I hope this answers all y'all's questions. I look forward to scheduling a survey with y'all soon. See y'all later.